Hi, my name is Lisa and I'm with the Frederick County Public Libraries. This crazy looking contraption behind me is what you call a marble run. A marble run is like a slide or maybe even a roller coaster except for marbles. I had so much fun making my marble run that I wanted to show you how you could make one of your own. Now a marble run works because of gravity. Earth's gravitational force is going to want to pull this marble from the top of this marble run down to the bottom. You can find out more about that by looking for books about gravity or about force and motion. Well, I think we should get started on making our marble run. Here are the supplies that we are going to be using for our project today. Of course, we're going to need a board. This is just an old piece of uh, scrappy cardboard that I was able to scrounge. You might be able to get someone to help you cut a piece from an old box that nobody needs anymore. Down here on the floor, I've got several items like a pen. It could be a pencil or marker. It doesn't matter. Some scissors a ruler, a cup. Now this cup is going to catch the marble at the end of the run. So it needs to be non-breakable. It doesn't have to look just like this one, but just make sure it's non-breakable. Some marbles, of course. You really only need one, but sometimes it's nice to have more than one. I have some tape. You could use regular tape, but I like to use this painter's tape because it's not quite as sticky, and so if I need to move things around, it won't do as much damage to my board. And then finally, uh, some heavy paper. It could be a brochure that you've picked up somewhere that's good heavy paper, or maybe a flyer that you got in the mail. Uh, it could be um, a box from um, cereal, a breakfast cereal, that's what this one is, or maybe some real cardstock paper, but it needs to be the heavy stuff, not just regular paper. Oh, last of all is this item here. It's a, just a plain old towel, and uh, you don't have to have that, but I like to put a towel underneath of my board, and that way if a marble flies off, like they often do, it will land on my towel and not roll away so far. Once we have all our materials together, the first step is to make our track pieces. This is what one of the track pieces looks like. It's just the cardstock paper, a rectangle that has been folded in half and then the marble can go down the channel. They're very easy to make. I'm going to show you very quickly how to do that. So to make a track piece, the way I like to do it is I take my ruler and put it along the bottom edge of the paper. And now I grab my ruler and that paper and I'm going to fold it over like that so that the paper is folded around the ruler. Then before I remove the ruler, I take my pencil or pen and mark a line. And now that I have this line here, I can cut it with my scissors. And that is how we make our track. And now we're ready to start building. I've made about 10 of these track pieces. I have all my supplies together, and now all I need to do is start taping the track pieces to my board. So I'm gonna take my first piece and put a piece of tape on the back of it and just stick it up here on the board. I want it to be angling down a little bit so that my marble will start going down the hill. My second piece, put some tape on it should be just a little bit beneath the first piece so that the marble will roll onto it, just like that. And now I need to start going the other direction. So I'm gonna take another piece, put some tape on it, and I'm going to put that here so that when the marble hits it, it might go up a little bit, but hopefully it won't fly off the end, and then it will start coming back down the other direction. So I think it's time to give it a little test run. Okay, that worked. 
the marble went down the hill and went up this channel a little bit, but then it started coming back down. All right, I'm going to keep working on this. And um, again, it's a lot of uh, taping and then testing and fixing uh, the whole way you go. So um, let's get it done. I think it's time to give it one last final test. As you may have noticed, I had to make a lot of changes along the way, but that's part of the fun of it. Let's give it a try and see what happens. Yay, it worked. Well, I had a lot of fun making this marble run, and I hope you'll get some materials together and make one for yourself. They are really a lot of fun to make, and there are so many ways that you can make yours unique. Thank you for joining us today. Again, my name is Miss Lisa, and I'm with the Frederick County Public Libraries, and we hope you'll join us again next time.